so today I'm going to be dyeing my 613 blonde wig to an ash blonde and we're going to do some dark roots. So this is basically the hair, I washed it prior to this. So now stay tuned to see how we're going to do this. I'm going to be taking the first box dye, it's 57, just one box of this and this is what I'm going to be using to do the roots first. So now I open the box and I'm just going to be combining everything together and I'm going to be shaking it up in this bottle. continue shaking up and then I'm going to open it up and I'm going to pour it in my mixing bowl because I feel like it's easier to apply on the hair when it's in a bowl instead of using the bottle. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Then I'm going to be sectioning the frontal part off because that's going to be the part that I'm doing in the roots. So you just want to section that from the rest of the hair. Now I'm going to be taking the remainder of the wig and I'm just going to be putting a braid in so that hair is tucked away from the frontal part. So now I'm going to be taking um, my mixture that's in the bowl and applying that on my brush and I'm just going to be doing the roots. I'm going to be doing small sections. I'm going to take my comb and just comb out the area so it's no tangles in the hair. And then what also helps while I do this is applying um, some of the dye like upwards. So when I have the, once you, you'll see it, like I'll go upwards and then I'll take the hair out from the clip and then I'll continue applying so it's like the dye is on both sides, if that kind of makes sense. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep doing this for the entire frontal section I should have put something on the wig stand so it didn't get the dye on it but I mean whatever so I left this on for approximately like I think 20 minutes and then I just rinsed it out after that and then we're gonna do the rest of the hair so for the actual hair, we're going to be using 60 and 71. So I got two, two boxes of 60 and one box of 70. Well, whatever the numbers are. But I didn't actually need that much. Um, it wasn't that much hair. This is after I had rinsed it out. So basically, I'm just going to blow dry it a little bit. You see me going to get my blow dryer. And then, um, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so now that's a little bit dry, I'm gonna go on to dyeing the hair. So I'm just gonna begin So then basically, I'm just going to be taking first. my brush and kind of getting the entire hair. And what I decided to do to make it a little bit easier is I was putting the dye on my hand um, once I got like closer to the bottom and just spreading it that way because it like saves time.
you're just gonna want to do this the entire hair you're even gonna want to do it when you get up to the front part do the same thing just avoid the roots and yeah After this is done, I left it on not too long, like a little bit less than 20 minutes, and then we're just going to rinse it out. So then this is the final product, and I'm going to insert a clip for me actually wearing the hair with its style. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like this video and comment down below. This is when I print it, and then there will be a picture of me actually wearing it. But that's it guys, bye.